जो यूक्रेन अच्छा लगता है एजुकेशन के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो अच्छी क्वालिटी है उनके इट्स अ ग्रेट कंट्री पीपल आर वेरी फ्रेंडली एंड आई थिंक आई फाउंड माई सेल्फ ग्रेट ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स सो वी यूज टू इन्जॉय आर कॉलेज लाइफ आर हॉस्टल लाइफ एंड एवरी थिंग वॉज प्रिटी गुड they'd been going through their lives preparing for what they had hoped was going to be a perfect career nobody had quite expected what was to unfold russia has over 100000 troops gathered on three sides of ukraine and fears of an invasion are growing stronger every day nations are also pulling out the citizens out of kiev pehle to humne kabhi socha bhi nahi tha aisa kuch hoga hum sochte the ki like hey, normally education chalegi as thousands of indian students were suddenly caught up with the conflict escalating right from october onwards the um, din about conflict uh, was escalating and then it was backed up with uh, personnel and uh, people at the border and then the western press also was alerting that yes uh, some kind of uh, activity intense conflict was imminent hamare kareeb 20000 bete betiya jo padhai ke liye ukraine mein the tab hamare samne sabse prathmik kaam ye tha कि इन बच्चों को सुरक्षित वापस लाना है पीएम वॉज आफ्टर आ सिंह भाई ये संकट का समय आने वाला है तैयारी तो करो गेट योर सिस्टम्स इन ऑर्डर डेटा कलेक्ट करो so we were actually through the month of january trying to build up this database so what we did is we created virtual meetings and i explained that this is just a formality for the government to make sure that you are registered in this portal to understand about your whereabouts the portal for registration opened and in just a matter of hours data from students began to pour in we have even gone to the extent of geo tagging them literally uh, their locations were on our smartphones at this point the collection of data revealed three important issues For one, there were about 22,500 Indian students studying all over Ukraine. Secondly, 40% of India students were in East Ukraine, closer to Russia's borders, and 40% of Indian students were in West Ukraine, which was far from Russia and relatively safer. The Indian government took anticipatory action, and on 15th of February. issued an advisory that all those whose presence in Ukraine was not essential should plan to leave the country temporarily I remember my mother telling me asking me to come back to India but I just kept telling her that the situation is normal here we were actually encountering a problem on the ground lot of students did not want to leave we university mein logo log unko keh rahe the ki aap chale jaoge so you know you will lose your uh, academic year so i can understand unki apni duvida thi indian government says there could be a war and the local government says chances of war are slim the students are obviously going to go by what the local people say to same wohi question samne aata tha ki problem nahi hai aap continue rakho abhi bhi to sab kuch normal hi hai ek middle class banda jo loan leke gaya uske baad usko do bar sochna padta hai some people actually thought that by allowing foreign students to remain there maybe that would provide a safety wall in the face of military action medical colleges in ukraine were not willing to resort to online classes so they told the students that if you go back home you will miss exams hum to kar rahe the advisories lekin hamara final year tha na to matlab hamare liye possible nahi tha bahar jana the next day the indian embassy in ukraine opened 24 hour hotlines to cater to emergencies and in new delhi a control room was set up With 20 officers. हमारे यहाँ जब भी कुछ ऐसी समस्या होती है तो भी we know there will be an operation to be done. 
first thing you have to do is to set up a control room so that a clearing house, you have to have your teams in place, it's got to be 24-7. The Prime Minister monitored it personally, of course. All hands on deck operation. We were inundated with calls. Most of our parents were concerned about the whereabouts of their children, but we were more concerned about where are they? Have you heard anything which is endangering them? And to add to the chaos were the exorbitant ticket prices of the limited number of flights due to the pandemic. As it was late, the flight prices were very high. After that, the flight was full, 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 full. The Civil Aviation Ministry has removed the restriction on the number of flights and seats between India and Ukraine in the air bubble arrangement. On 18th of February, the Embassy of India in Kyiv sent out an advisory stating that Air India was going to operate three flights out of Kyiv on 22nd, 24th and 26th of February. The moment I heard it uh, that I have to operate this flight, I immediately, my reaction was to say yes. Not every person gets such chance in life to, you know, serve your country. The first Air India flight carrying around 242 Indian students, landed in New Delhi. The nation had been holding its breath, and this was a sigh of relief. Actually, due to our efforts, uh, about 4,000 who were born on 24 February ke pehle nikal chuke the. And on 24th February, sat up in shock as dread and fear turned into reality. Russia has essentially launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. We are getting you the most dramatic images. You see that on your screen? The explosions, the shelling, that is being reported now. Whoever tries to threaten our country, Russia's response will be immediate and one that you have never experienced in your history. What is more worrying for us was there are so many Indian students who were studying in Ukraine. What will happen to them? Our Air India flight at that point of time was already five hours into its flight. When war broke out, a no time was issued that all airspace above Russia has now been closed off. Then there was a panic. And at that point of time, through our emergency satellite phones, we connected with the Air India aircraft. And there was no other option, unfortunately, but for that airliner to turn back home. This was the same Air India flight that Arshan was supposed to board and return home on. So I was just waiting for him. And then suddenly, the manager of the airport came to the airport. And then all the passengers कि वो क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन वॉर फिर जैसे ही हम निकले उसी वक्त बॉम्बिंग स्टार्ट हो गई एयरपोर्ट के आसपास और एयरपोर्ट के अंदर भी जो रनवे था ना वहाँ पे भी बॉम्बिंग हुई थी रूस यूक्रेन के बीच तराव और क्यों में एयरपोर्ट के पास फायरिंग की खबर निकलकर सामने आ रही है क्यों एयरपोर्ट को खाली कराया गया है इस वक्त की सबसे बड़ी खबर जब वॉर स्टार्ट हुई 24 को वो फर्स्ट डे और फर्स्ट नाइट हमने अपने रूम में बिताई थी उस रात तो हम पूरी सोए नहीं The Modi government uh, in the past nine years or past decade has established uh, a very stellar record of being responsive to uh, the needs of Indians in trouble in war zones or disaster zones in different parts of the world. और हिंदुस्तान का नागरिक भी चाहता है कि भाई ऐसे समय सरकार नहीं करेगी तो कौन करेगा ये तो सरकार का दायित्व भी है 
as the news about Russia's operations in Ukraine broke out. The Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi was in Uttar Pradesh and decided to rush back to Delhi. As he was flying to Delhi over the river Ganga, a thought crossed his mind. Ganga is not a big deal. This work is also a big deal. As the Ganga संकटों के बीच से पहाड़ों को चीरती हुई सदियों से लोगों के कल्याण के लिए बहती रहती है ये भी उतना ही पवित्र कार्य है उस पवित्र भाव ने ही इस पूरे ऑपरेशन को ऑपरेशन गंगा नाम बहुत सहज रूप से निकल गया था The Prime Minister called an emergency meeting, assessed the situation on the ground. What is it that we could do to understand how we can bring our students out? I did the first work. I did the work of my parents and my parents. Give them faith with the government. They should have to be in the name of the government. The government has come to my house. Because today we are digital, we were able to actually send government officials to virtually every family. Ministers and district collectors were directed to make personal visits to each concerned family who were assured of complete support from the government of India. We made a call for the parents to come to the first control room and we gave an email ID and a WhatsApp number so that any parents who have been stuck in Ukraine or in the European countries कोई भी पेरेंट्स ये सारे डेटा भिजवा दें। बायो डेटा ले रहे थे कि क्रेन में भारतीय स्टूडेंट कितने हैं। वो हर एक की फीडबैक ले रहे थे कि जब टाइम आने पे हम उनकी मदद कर सकें। वो डिसीजन बहुत अच्छा था। प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज ओवर द इयर्स डेवलप्ड गुड रिलेशंस विद मेनी वर्ल्ड लीडर्स � and President Zelensky in Ukraine and requested them in India's interest to allow the creation of green corridors. Now you must understand that the establishment of safe or green corridors is very difficult because it requires the two opposing armies to build trust in each other, to cease fire and to allow people to move out of the conflict areas through these safe corridors. And this is no easy task. There have been evacuation processes earlier. Did you take those so seriously that your head of state or government actually picked up the phone and spoke? I don't know. I'm not aware. But I do know that my Prime Minister actually did it. Who will think about it? We don't do it on that basis. We do it on that basis. We do it on that basis. Who do we think about it? Who do we think about it? We knew that. We knew that every Indian needs to come out and we just need to be there to make it happen no matter what it takes. I would say the system started moving on 24th itself. The uh, idea was four Padosi. Thai. Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania. Later on we added Moldova. So, in charon se jitni jaldi hum baat kar sakte hain, take their cooperation, get in people. But there was another challenge. At that time, vast number of Ukrainians fleeing their country came to Poland. So the few Indians and the few other nationalities who were coming, it was very difficult for them to cross. Then we reached the first checkpoint. We saw the situation there. There were long lines. There were thousands of students there. Some of the students were taking their clothes and taking them to hit. It was a lot of cold. I knew that those kids were standing there in minus 8, minus 10 degrees Celsius. Many of them were just wearing jeans and one hoodie. Many of them didn't have much to eat or anything. It was extremely very worrying. We were getting phone calls, you know, people were moving, saying that, you know, Bhad Lambi line is 15 kilometers from the border. We can't approach the place. Then we moved our ambassadors physically, saying, you go to the border and deal with it. The first big chunk uh, came without informing anyone. They were just there. So it was about four, five hundred students who had collected at the border. 
we had to work on two fronts one is tell the Romanian authorities that these are the students coming and I was given an assurance by the foreign ministry that all the requirements like visa requirements they would be waived how do you get the border unclogged that was a huge issue because we are not the only people getting out you know there are a lot of Ukrainians trying to get out it was Prime Minister Modi who reached out to the heads of states and requested that they ease visa restrictions and help fast-track border transits. Through the Romanian authorities, in a slow trickle, people started coming out. While the Polish border was jammed and things had slowed down, on the flip side, 470 Indian citizens exited Ukraine into Romania, safely through the Siret Porobny border. Even though the mechanics of the rescue operation had been put into place, the Indian students in particular caught up there were facing enormous number of challenges. Container bombing was there. We were safe at that time. So we were bunkers in that time. We were safe at that time. The first bunker that I went to, it was extremely congested. In that time, water supply pipeline, electricity pipeline, it was like that. It was like that. It was like that. ट्वेंटीफ Twenty sixth of February is a date we will all remember as Indians. We were given a very safe passage uh, to reach Budapest and get all the stranded Indians out. And once we reached there, you could see the terminal filled off all the students, and they're trying to wave at us. They're trying to click pictures. As the first flight flew out, and Operation Ganga had taken flight. Early next day, the second evacuation of Indian students took place as an Air India flight landed back in India with over 250 Indian students. रात तीन बजे भारतीय छात्रों को लेकर दूसरा विमान दिल्ली लौटा। हमारे प्रधानमंत्री बहुत अच्छे हैं कि हमारे बच्चों को वहाँ से निकाल के लेके आए। हम उम्मीद जोड़ चुके थे। कोई उम्मीद नहीं थी कि ये बच्चे ही हैं। ये सिर्फ पांच सत्तार की मेहरबानी है। Prime Minister Narendra Modi monitored this exercise on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. Held meetings in the Situation Room, minimum twice a day, every day. Union ministers of External Affairs, Jay Shankar ji, Piyush Goyal ji, working the phones and working the systems on the ground, along with our embassy staff in all of these four countries. But embassy in Kiev did not leave, even though war had. Broken out until our children were safely put on special railway trains, which were commissioned by our embassy. And while other countries had left their nationals to fend for themselves in war-torn Ukraine, Mother India was not about to give up. There were students from like Turkey or and Africa. And when I asked them like, "What will happen to you guys? Any advisory or something?" They were like. No, my country people are actually saying that uh, we are the problem. Thank God, at least our country is doing something for us. Prime Minister Modi ji had clearly instructed us that while we are evacuating our citizens, we may also take care of our neighboring countries. Whoever requires help, we should extend help. Bangladeshis, Pakistanis, Sri Lankans, Nepalese, many of them traveled on our special flights home. I'm really thankful to the Indian Embassy of Kiev for supporting us all the way here as we were we were stuck in very difficult situations. Also thanking the Prime Minister of India. Meanwhile, Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the government of India for the help in evacuating Bangladeshi nationals from Ukraine. Dunya jab bhi sankat mein aayi हम पीछे नहीं रहे हैं फिजी में बहुत बड़ा साइक्लोन आया था पहुंचे फिजी के लोगों की सेवा की हमने हमारे यहाँ मालदीव में वहाँ बिजली का बड़ा संकट पैदा हुआ 
मालदीव में जब तक बिजली की व्यवस्था नहीं हुई किसी को बिना पानी रहने नहीं दिया था श्रीलंका के अंदर बड़ा संकट आया था चावल की जरूरत थी रुपये पैसे नहीं दे था वहाँ का व्यक्ति भूखा नहीं रहना चाहिए नेपाल के अंदर इतना बड़ा भूकंप आया था हमारे सामने नेपाल के लोगों की मदद भी करनी थी और नेपाल में जो भारतीय फंसे थे उनको वापस भी लेना था दोनों मोर्चे पर हम डटे रहे काम करते रहे मेरा पहले से आग्रह रहा है कि हमारी विदेश नीति भी ह्यूमन सेंट्रिक होगी वो सिर्फ भारत के नागरिक ही ह्यूमन ऐसा नहीं है पूरी मानव जात के लिए मैं सोचता हूं Just after the third flight had taken off from Bucharest in Romania, a grievous tragedy was about to unfold for an Indian student, Arjot. As we were going to the metro station, it was about 2 km away from the metro station. The first shot was that the left hand side कान के वहाँ सामने से निकला तीन चार बुलेट्स मेरे दोनों फ्रेंड्स की चेस्ट में शूट हो गई तो वो ऑन दी स्पॉट वहीं पे नीचे गिर गए तो मैं तिरछा होकर खड़ा हुआ था तो जो बुलेट थी वो मेरी चेस्ट के राइट हैंड साइड से अंदर एंट्री करी मैं वहीं नीचे लेट गया मेरी सांसें बंद होनी स्टार्ट हो गई थी मेरे पास कोई और ऑप्शन नहीं था मेरे पास एक ही ऑप्शन था मैं फैमिली सबको याद किया बट फिर भी मैं खड़ा हुआ कि मरना तो है ही है बट ऐसे तड़प के नहीं मरेंगे मैं जैसे ही सडनली खड़ा हुआ तो मेरे जो उनसे लेफ्ट लेग है सर इसके घुटने में आर पार बुलेट हुई पांच बुलेट जब इंसान को लगी हो तो इंसान ये तो ऊपर वाले की कृपा थी सर उसने खुद बचाया मेरे को आकर के Arjot he was saved by some Ukrainian officers but his parents didn't know that he had had such a close brush with death 12:30 in the midnight I received a call from the prime minister he just told me that bahut gambhir sthiti ho gaya hai and uh, I want senior ministers to lead the evacuation team so you will have to go by tomorrow itself the indian ministers given responsibility to oversee the rescue operations in europe were mr jyotiraditya sindhya in romania and moldova mr kiran rijiju in slovakia minister hardeep singh puri in hungary and general v k singh in poland see what the prime minister said was we have to coordinate everything diplomatically with our mission in ukraine how to get the students out the exact means we have to find ourselves but the aim should be to get them out as fast as possible the minister actually was sent as a kind of a statement of commitment to the government where you sent that minister hey bhai this is important enough for us it shows you how much the pm himself is invested he was very clear in his direction main aapko bhej raha hu hamare भारतीय नागरिक युवाओं और युवती को वापस घर सुरक्षित लाना आपकी जिम्मेदारी है और मेरा निवेदन है कि आप लोग तभी वापस आएंगे जब उस देश से आखिरी फ्लाइट भारत वापस आएगी ऑन मार्च फर्स्ट द स्पेशल एंड बॉयज ऑफ द फोर मिनिस्टर्स रीच्ड देयर डेस्टिनेशंस एंड बिगैन ओवरसीइंग द रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन they were carrying special letters for the heads of state prime minister narendra modi's astute decision to write personal letters to the heads of government of the countries neighboring ukraine not only had an emotional effect on them but it also helped to galvanize support for india's rescue operation When I went to Bratislava to hand over the special letter written by Modi ji the prime minister of Slovakia was uh, so overwhelmed and he told me that your prime minister uh, Modi ji has already spoke to him he also instructed instantly that assistance to indian operation must be at the highest level so their foreign ministry their military their uh, police their aviation team were well coordinated before i could reach there Honorable Prime Minister felt going there as a special envoy with a letter from him to the heads of state and government would impress on the concerned government that the government of India takes this very seriously seriously enough for a senior minister to go there and camp there you go and deliver his uh, letter to the president or the prime minister whosoever in that country accordingly it makes things better unko pata hai ki abhi bhi 14000 bacche 
फंसे हुए थे कोशिश हमारी ये है कि जितना जल्दी हो उनको निकाल एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम रे ऑफ होप इमर्ज्ड द यूक्रेनियन कैपिटल कीव लिफ्टेड इट्स कर्फ्यू एंड इंडिया सो अ विंडो टू इवैक्यूएट इट्स नेशनल्स फ्रॉम यूक्रेन द एंबेसडर एंड आवर स्टाफ हैव बीन एट इट ट्राइंग टू गेट यू पीपल आउट private airlines from india joint air india and it was all hands on deck to allow for the speedy evacuation of as many indians as possible from this window of opportunity in the middle of a war they all came forward and they said whatever is required how many ever planes are required we will create that movement to make sure that we bring our students back home but the big question remained how do you move students safely out of ukraine and to the neighboring countries you don't have buses trucks taxis nothing how do you move 450 students out across 8 kilometers when every 500 meters there is a blockhead with such a huge number of people in a curfew time so obviously we had to find ways to move them out ab dekhiye bharat ke tiranga ki taakat kabhi hame yahan anubhav nahi hota hai sadha hoti hai samman hota hai lekin ye taakat bhi hai jab ukraine se bachche nikal rahe the aur kisi ko bharat ka tiranga dikha dete the to sari vyavasthaye uske paksh mein khadi ho jati thi सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स पे इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल रही थी कि वहाँ के स्टूडेंट्स ने इंडियन का फ्लैग लगाया था बस पे और वो सेफली निकल गई बाकी सबको रोका गया चेकिंग के लिए बार बार तो हमने भी यही किया कि बस के चारों तरफ इंडिया का फ्लैग लगा लिया और हम भी बॉर्डर सेफली पहुँच गए बिना किसी रिस्ट्रिक्शन से जैसे दूसरे कंट्रीज के हो गए पाकिस्तान हो गए और नाइजीरियन हो गए वो लोग इंडियन फ्लैग्स अपने बसेस में ये करके पार किए हैं जो चेक पॉइंट है फ्लैग देख के उन्होंने कुछ नहीं बोला और उन्होंने खुद ने हमको रास्ता दिया जाने के लिए तो उन बच्चों को भी लगना हमारा चमड़ी के रंग से भी ज्यादा हमारे तिरंगे का इतना ताकत थी कि उस देश में जहाँ इतना बड़ा संकट है लोग अपने लिए मुसीबत में से गुजर रहे थे लेकिन तिरंगा देखते ही हमारी मदद करते थे हर घर तिरंगा हैपन्ड इन वॉट ऑन यूक्रेन and wherever the indian flag was flying safe passage was ensured to ye sare operation ne tirange ki taakat ki anubhuti karai aur sirf un bachcho ko karai jaisa nahi bharat mein jis jis ne suna jis jis ne jana uska bharat ke tirange ki taakat mein bharosa bad gaya While on the ground, the initial success of the evacuation was encouraging. There was misinformation, fake news, and conspiracy theories floating online that made communication and planning challenging for Operation Ganga. Social media has got anonymity. All kinds of videos that were floating around, some true, some not true, some made up, and it becomes a great uh, multiplier. of uh, disinformation what often happened is uh, someone post something about a problem in a particular area that problem is resolved but that post is not deleted and it's amplified but these things happen this is part of the game this is part of the challenge when we were able to send out the imageries of what is happening on ground everything is organized be assured plus we also monitored the social media to see what kind of criticism or help people were asking for to us time poland border band tha khol nahi rahe the fir humne sarkar se jo help line aayi thi unse baat ki thi unhone hame aswasan diya ki aap ghabrao na thodi aap patience rakho ye hamari sir dard diya jada in the moment you uh, create this communication line it becomes simpler so social media is both good and bad the border of siret is close to 500 kilometers from bucharest Once the Indians from Ukraine arrived at the border, they had to further travel this distance by bus to the Bucharest shelter camp and await evacuation. I looked at the map 
uh, with the Romanian ambassador and I said, do we have any airports close to the border? She then indicated a, an airport called Suceva, which was a domestic airport, not an international airport. Within uh, 36 hours, Romanian government opened up a domestic airport for international evacuation. It's something that is probably unheard of. As the number of students swelled, an ingenious process was devised to keep track of the humongous number of students passing through. We gave an ID code to every single student. We then tracked the student from the crossing of the border to coming to the shelter camp, from the shelter camp, moving to the airport, from the airport, tagging that person on the flight that they have taken, and then the same tag being given to the state government where the student is permanently domiciled to be able to enable the state government to receive that student at the Delhi airport or the Mumbai airport and then arrange for their transport, safely see them all the way home. In the jungle, there are so many people in Poland who are reaching their lives that they are difficult to make their lives to live. ऐसे में एक बड़े स्पोर्ट सेंटर को ही उनके रहने का ठिकाना बना दिया गया तस्वीरों में ये कैंप पूरी तरह से खचाखच भरा नजर आया कुटुंबकम द वर्ल्ड is one family made some 160 plus calls to hotels motels in the region we had managed to discuss with a particular hotelier and i still remember he thought probably i've lost it you know what am i talking about you know to get 250 mattresses in 24 hours but he understood the, the situation and he was kind enough to arrange things the way we wanted so i called up my ex company and asked them that if they could give roughly around 5000 free sim card but to the surprise, thanks that the company sent 20,000 SIM cards, not only for the Indians, they gave it to everybody who were crossing over with free GB internet. All our citizens in those countries that were sitting and cooking up meals, arranging buses for transport, tending to students' medical needs, and it's a, on the scale that probably India has never seen before. Our NRI is really coming to uh, the aid of, of our students. In continuation with the spirit of India, the Prime Minister personally got in touch with the leaders of spiritual organizations. Dunya mein kahi par bhi rehne wala bhartiya. Ho sakta hai, uske passport ka rang badal gaya ho. Lekin, उसका हमारे साथ खून का रिश्ता है हम पासपोर्ट का रंग नहीं देखते हैं हम उस खून के रंग से जुड़े हुए हैं वेन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कोल्ड देर वॉज अ डीप कंसर्न इन इज वॉइस ही सेट ब्रह्म बिहारी स्वामी आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सेट अप रिलीफ कैंप एज सुन एज पॉसिबल इन एनी ऑफ द बोर्डर टाउन ऑफ दीज कंट्रीज बिकॉज थाउजेंड ऑफ आर स्टूडेंट्स आर ट्रैप्ट एंड इंस्टेंटली BAPS Swaminarayan Sanstha went into mobilizing its force to set up the relief camp full marks to the social assistance providers one's heart is filled with um, you know such gratitude and humility they were feeding people no matter what numbers they came in each one of them uh, hare krishna iskon seva bharati I mean, there was a, a case of an Indian restaurant owner from Vienna. He came in with his family. He's a Sikh, and he was serve, serving 600 meals a day. Like in Poland, in Warsaw, you have a Gurdwara, you have a temple, you have people from Art of Living, you have people from Swami Narayan uh, area, you have got uh, Ashlar uh, Mittal's uh, set up out there. Wipro or Infosys or uh, Sun Pharma or, or a number of these companies that came to the fore. As the war raged on, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in touch with many world leaders, including the head of the European Union, the President of France, and the President of Poland, and thanked them all for relaxing their visa laws that made it easier for Indians to move to their country from the conflict zone. In some cases, the scenes reminded us 
of what happened 76 years ago. Poland uh, has a very special relationship. In Second World War, they sent out a lot of their children so that they could take refuse outside and when the war finishes, they can come back. Otherwise, they would have all been killed. Now, they went to various countries and they were turned back from there. And ultimately, they landed in uh, Jamnagar. And that is when the Jam Saab said, they're all my children. He adopted them as his children. Poland holds us in a very special friendship because of this. And uh, this is the reason why Indians who were coming out, they were all getting a Schengen visa for 15 days. No other country got it. War room se sabse badi breaking news karkiv mein ek baat chhatr ki baat ki jankari aari hai jiska naam Naveen bataya ja raha hai. Naveen ki jo death ho gayi karkiv ka jo student tha, uske liye ham log ko bahut absurd raha, bahut taklif rahi. Parents had lost their child, and India had lost a son. It was a sad day for the country. Prime Minister Modi ordered the Indian Air Force to be pressed into action. The IAF quickly assembled its fleet of C-17 Globemaster transport aircrafts. When an Indian Air Force aircraft lands amongst the countrymen, it brings in great amount of confidence because the armed forces have their own image in the eyes of uh, people as people who cannot fail. Indian Army, number one. Secondly, it has space. It can land on much shorter strips. And uh, they were also used for taking the humanitarian aid. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, a larger problem arose beyond Kiev. The eastern part of the country was now an active war zone. The students at Kharkiv were at risk. India decided it needed safe corridors to evacuate its citizens. Prime Minister spoke to President Putin and we got the Russians to say, look, we are moving our students. This time, we are firing up now. The uh, Russians had actually told us, saying in that direction they won't be firing. So we needed some safe way out and we moved them to a nearby uh, place called Pesochin. It was a matter of pride to see that India takes a center stage in the global affairs. Uh, nation first policy. There has been a fundamental restructuring of domestic policy and foreign and security policy after 2014. By 3rd March, even though 18,000 Indian students had been evacuated from Ukraine, there was a big challenge for the Indian government. And this came from the two towns of Sumy and Kharkiv that lay close to the Russian border. In fact, Sumy, which was only 30 miles from the Russian border and had about 600 Indian students holed up in bunkers with very little hope and even lesser water and food. We are students of Sumi State University. We are residing right now in first hostel. There is no electricity right now in a hostel and there is no water available for us. So we would like to request government to give us some advisory how we can evacuate from here because we may not die with this war zone but we will die with scarcity of water and food. This is how we are collecting water. I think God have shown some mercy so we are getting water but it's no fun. मैं कश्मीर का हूं तो हमारे यहां जब वाटर की रेस्ट्रिक्शंस होती है कुछ तो हम मेल्ट करते हैं वहां पे पानी उस चीज की एक्सपीरियंस थी मुझे तो मैं फ्रेश वगैरह होने के लिए और बर्तन वर्तन धोने के लिए मेल्ट किए बोतल में शाम के टाइम में 5 6 क्लॉक के आसपास अटैक हो गया सुमी पे हमारे सामने एयर स्ट्राइक हो रही है उस दिन ऐसा लग रहा था कि ये हमारी रात जो है आखिरी है 
it was a three way problem students there uh, they were caught between the russians and the ukrainians but there was also an ukrainian militia in a sense wo apna karte the jo karna tha so kiev was not able to uh, necessarily give us the uh, lines to these people harjot who had been hospitalized since being shot at on 28th of february finally woke up on the 3rd of march it was now time to tell his parents about his brush with death mummy ko maine call karke ye video call pe mummy puchti kahan pe hai main kaha mummy himmat hai aur mummy kehti bahut himmat hai par mummy ko apni body dikhai sab kuch dikhaya to mom try karne lagi tab mummy rona start ho gayi jab usne niche karke dikhaya to उसके पाइप वगैरह लगे हुए थे यहाँ ब्लड के अब ये तो आप जान ही सकते हो कि माँ बाप के दिल में क्या आ सकता है उस टाइम मेरे मम्मी को ये बोला मैं कहा मम्मी आपने शेर पैदा किया मैं मरता नहीं मैं हरजोत वॉज अ शेर ही हैड सर्वाइव बट सो वर हंड्रेड ऑफ इंडियंस वो वॉक हंड्रेड ऑफ किलोमीटर टू द बॉर्डर ऑफ यूक्रेन ऑफन with minimum or no food and water we had to do something special for sumi if indian diplomats actually went to sumi it would reassure the students if we can come from here they can come out from there so we sent two very senior officers from delhi russian speaking officers both the joint secretary jp singh and i we speak russian language and so we were asked and we immediately agreed to proceed to ukraine issue ye tha ki us ek do ghante mein aapko koi niche ground team chahiye aur us coordination ke liye hum logo ko bheja gaya tha ek baar hum tay kar lenge karna hai to mere desh ke sena ke jawan hamare desh ke विदेश विभाग में काम करने वाले लोग हमारे देश के डायस्फोरा हमारे देश ने अब तक बनाए हुए संबंध इन सब का सामर्थ्य इतना है कि आप भारत दुनिया में ऐसे किसी भी संकल्प को लेकर के जाता है तो पूरा भी करता है मीन वाइल इन सुमी द फाइटिंग एट एस्किलेटेड एंड सम 600 हंड्रेड ओल्ड इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स व कॉटअप द Sumi was stuck because it's close to the border where the conflict was happening and the conflict there was intense and we were lining up whatever available transport to see that they get up question was how soon could we find that corridor of safety and for how long would that corridor of safety last kareeban 8 baje ka time tha pm sham ko to maine khidki kholi to some explosions hue wahan pe i was literally matlab mere ko bahut zyada wo डर लगा तब मैंने फिर मतलब को याद किया मेरे को लगा कि आज तो शायद लास्ट दिन है वाइल द वॉर एस्क्यूलेटेड द इंडियन एम्बेसी इन हंगरी रिक्वेस्टेड दैट ऑल इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स रीच बुडापेस्ट फॉर सेफ एक्सट्रैक्शन The embassy of India in Poltava city tweeted and reassured the Indian students stranded in Sumi that safe passage would be arranged. Meanwhile, more Indian students returned home. The border guards were also quite uh, at that point of time a little perplexed and were uh, asking why are you entering Ukraine when everybody is actually going out. हर पाँच किलोमीटर और दस किलोमीटर के दायरे में बैरिकेड्स लगे हुए थे ट्रेंचेस खुदे हुए थे गाड़ी के अंदर घुस के आपसे पूछा जाता था कि आप कहाँ जा रहे हैं आप ये सोचिए कि पूरा यूक्रेन एक साइड में बाहर जा रहे हैं एक्सोडस मास एक्सोडस हो रहा है बाहर जा रहे हैं बचने के लिए और आप अंदर जा रहे हैं इट टूक एस नियरली फोर्टी आवर्स टू रीच अ प्लेस कॉल्डस पोलतावा वेर वी एस्टेब्लिश कैम्प वहाँ पर जाके हमें पता चला सुमी के जो इनर सर्कल है वो रशियन फोर्सेज ने कंट्रोल की हुई थी और जो आउटर सर्कल है वो यूक्रेनियन फोर्सेस ने कंट्रोल किया हुआ था जब तक आपका रशियन और यूक्रेनियन दोनों के साथ कोऑर्डिनेशन नहीं होगा तब तक आप कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते ऑन सेवेंथ मार्च समथिंग अनपैरल इन मॉडर्न कॉन्फ्लिक्स हैपन इट वॉज सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च एंड वी वर टोल्ड टूडेशन विल है 
लाइक अ सीक्रेट इवन डोंट टेल योर पेरेंट्स एंड वी वर लाइक हैप्पी लाइक फाइनली this is the day so the first time we got the green corridor signal we got them all out and they were all practically sitting in the buses three buses came and it was like a green corridor will be provided and then three buses will go to pultava then they will drop students then it will come back and others will go it was like that but there was still that element of doubt because they had to transverse about 25 to 40 kilometers till they reach the railway station to move out to safety that could not be assured or guaranteed with minutes to go before the start of the evacuation india decided not to go ahead we actually had a situation we boarded them on the buses and the firing started i mean can you imagine the morale of somebody ki aap bus tak baith gaye and now we have to leave the bus and go back into the uh, dock what is at stake is a life the life of someone as vulnerable and dear as maybe a child a student and therefore you had to be 400 500% sure before you could think of advising someone to do something and uh, indians there were your responsibility meanwhile in sumi indian students they had begun to lose hope and thus posted a video on social media but this posed a greater challenge because they said we have awaited a lot and we cannot wait any more we are risking our life we are moving towards border the challenge was to stop them from walking into the line of fire the sumi students naturally got very upset because they were seeing people from other areas go and ye log phas gaye and unko laga ki you know what about us i had colleagues here who were regularly talking to them you know it was almost like counseling them saying look don't do something which will put yourself in trouble on 9th march the multiple channels that were working at the rescue of indian students from sumi gave a reassurance to the indian government and a green corridor had been established for india to evacuate its students prime minister spoke to president putin he spoke to president zelensky to unhone hame jagah batayi a b c d e ye aapka corridor hai you take this route from pultava when we started our mission for sumi to evacuate our students and when we met them they were so happy when uh, the students uh, saw us some of them came and hugged us and they were crying and they felt that someone was there someone came all from delhi to rescue them a team was there from the government of india has sent a team to rescue them 14 buses proudly displaying the indian tricolor picked up indian students from sumi and started moving them towards safety in west ukraine and beyond the students from sumi have now reached lv thereafter there will be a special train that will take them from lv across over the poland border from where they will then board their plane to mother india i'm happy to say that i was there at the at the station uh with my overcoat and my cap on and all these kids were there and we were there at the station waving the flag hamari evacuation thi wo one of the best evacuation thi jo possible nahi thi kyunki we were stuck mai jis flight mein aaya wo la- last flight thi wo army ki flight thi bahut acha feel hua proud moment tha hum logo ke liye i'm a krishna bhakt <laughs> and uh, i do remember my father used to always tell this hare murare madukai tware gobind gopala mukund saure jagyesa narayana krishna vishnu nirasrayaman jagadish raksha so when you think you are reaching a point uh, where you see no avenue think of uh, the one you trust have confidence in and the almighty will show you the way finally we are going home like everyone was happy crying emotional that was the moment when we started saying jai hind that was the last batch that was coming in we also had uh, four legged friends in that i think uh, that day we had about 12 of them or 13 of them we also had harjot लाभ एक को मिला हो पांच को मिला हो पचास को मिला हो हजार को मिला हो बीस हजार को मिला हो लेकिन 
बैक होम एक सौ चालीस करोड़ देशवासियों में विश्वास जगाता उसमें एक सामर्थ्य पैदा करता है फॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कंट्री इज जस्ट गेटिंग टू प्लेन एंड गेटिंग पीपल आउट वॉज अ वेरी बिग डील लुक वी गॉट नाइंटी फ्लाइट आउट एज द लास्ट फ्लाइट एज पार्ट ऑफ ऑपरेशन गंगा लैंडेड एट हिंडन एयर फोर्स बेस over 22500 indians had been evacuated from the war zone shayad duniya ka koi desh bhi apne nagrikon ko aise sankat se bahar lane ke liye itna bada sahas nahi kar sakta hai jitna bada sahas bharat ne kiya believe me when india speaks a uh, lot of things happen and that is why i think today our voice is very important operation ganga ka plan bahut zyada success hua bahut acha tha isliye bacche wapas aa gaye theek hai nahi to bachcho ko aana bahut mushkil tha ek ek indian ek ek bachcha safe aaya hai to ye indian government ke liye hum logon ki taraf se bahut hi badi uplabdhi hai ye waqai bahadri wali baat hai ki us mulk ke andar se jahan itne bomb chal rahe hain rocket chal rahe hain missile chal rahi hain wahan se nikalna kabile tareef hai गवर्नमेंट ने जो किया है वो नामुमकिन मुमकिन बनाया ऑपरेशन गंगा वॉज सक्सेसफुल फ्रॉम मेनी एंगल एंड हिस्टोरिक एंड द बिगेस्ट एवर ऑपरेशन नॉट ओनली बाय इंडिया बाय एनी कंट्री फ्रॉम ए वॉर जोन हमारे इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ने बहुत अच्छी सुविधाएं दी हमारे लिए फ्लाइट अवेलेबल थे भगवान के बाद अगर घर में नाम लिया जा रहा था तो सर वो आप थे मोदी जी हमें बचा लेंगे अब जो भी कर सकते हैं मोदी जी कर सकते हैं हमारा इंडिया इतना अच्छा है कि हमारे फ्लैग के जरिए दूसरे नेशंस के लोग निकल रहे हैं एंड इट्स बेस्ट इनकेटेड बाई अमेंट दैट वॉज मेड बाई सिर ओल्ड गर्ल ऑन वन ऑफ द फ्लाइट द चाइल्ड टर्न राउंड टू मी एंड सेड अंकल मोदी जी को मेरे तरफ से थैंक यू कह देना दैट टू यू इज अ सम एंड सब्सटेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन गंगा ऑपरेशन गंगा इज अ रिमार्केबल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ अ गवर्नमेंट डिलीवर्स इन द मोस्ट ट्राइंग सर्कमस्टेंसेस एंड इंप्लीमेंट्स अ हाईली कॉम्प्लेक्स रेस्क्यू मिशन फ्रॉम अ वॉर जोन ऑपरेशन गंगा सफल होने में रत्ती भर भी सवालिया निशान नहीं था वो सफल होगा एक एक बच्चा लौट के आएगा उनके माँ बाप के जो सपने हैं उन सपनों को मैं चूर चूर नहीं होने दूंगा और वो हो सका